nine polling stations that I need no mention. But I'm just wondering when the uh, commissioner uh, Wanderi Wanderi says that they were not telling as commissioners. Did you actually think that seven commissioners had the capacity to physically tally the 46,229 forms and be able to give the results within seven days as the law states? Number two, the matter went before the Supreme Court as a petition. Would you say that the results declared by the chairman were inconsistent with in any way with those that were declared at the polling stations. And that brings me to the final statement by Cherera where she says she wants the server to be opened. And that has been the language, open the server. The secretariat was here, the IBC secretariat was here. And I remember I personally asked the question of the server because I thought we need to understand what's in the server. And the ICT director said, whatever is in the server is exactly what is in the public portal. That any form 34A is what they are stored in the server. There's no difference. So what is it you want the server to produce if there was no inconsistency? Or maybe you know of an inconsistency that you should have taken before the Supreme Court. So, can, was there any inconsistency? I think that's the bottom line. Can I also, also uh, I wanted to also, uh, this is uh, Hassan Omar. Uh, and I, as, as uh, like Cecily, because I probably would want you also to benefit from some of the questions we would pose to uh, your two colleagues here. You know, I had uh, a lot of reference to the minor KI case. But the true import of the decision of the minor guy case is that what is declared at the polling station is the actual result of that election. This tallying you're talking about is simply arithmetic. In fact, today I look at go I, I, I look up to God and say the systems were so foolproof that our elections cannot be decided by four or seven people. The whole world was monitoring. And in fact, this idea of the server is, is, is al almost an idea to try and camouflage the fact that there was a result which was verified at, and those forms that were tallied. Not a single one of you came up with a challenge to meet up, as suggested by, by Justice uh, Smoking Wanjala, to show one single form signed by your, by your returning officers or been, um, agents or anybody that differs with those that have been uh, in, put onto that server. So I think, uh, or into that portal. So I think you sh you, we should now, even in terms of moving forward, because it's a, it's a, a what I've heard, I've heard uh, Eugene you repeatedly here saying how people say that the, the outcome of these uh, elections was not free and fair. And I can tell you, outside this group and the four of you, I don't know of anybody else who says that the outcome of these elections was not free and fair. Number two, number two, I also was a commissioner at a very stormy point of this country's uh, political transition, I think, which birthed the new constitution and some of the state institutions you see. I investigated instances of violence and laid a lot of responsibility on people who ended up becoming presidents of this country, probably the fourth and fifth. I can tell you when you do your job consciously, there's nothing to fear. People will send you messages. That's why Ongwai uh, Nyanga is still here and others. I can guarantee you what Kenya simply wanted was the truth of what happened. The truth in many instances has been canvassed in the Supreme Court. It has been canvassed across board. And I, I can tell you without a doubt, at least if it is any threat, it cannot be from our side. Our side is totally comfortable with the fact that the truth was canvassed and mitigated and agreed upon and settled. Lastly, there are a lot of other things that we do not want to go into. There is evidence that was adduced 
about your meetings, the four of you, with Tuju in apartments in uh, in uh, in Upper Hill, paid for. paid for by Ngonga, who was my college mate. People, who, the National Security Council membership coming here. Senator Wak was clarified why he was here in his personal capacity and the unfortunate circumstances that met him here. The person who was came here on behalf of the Security Council is today's CDF. Trust me, the evidence, if we were to pursue the attempt to sabotage this election, would have been overwhelming. That's why we are saying sometimes, let it rest. There's, uh, let it rest. I can tell you without a doubt, these matters have been canvassed and settled. I can tell you without a doubt, the truth is in public play. I can tell you without a doubt, some of these lies are no longer holding. They are just a, a, a few of you who continue to believe in that narrative and they will continue to perpetuate it. But every submission that has come here has actually given credibility to the elections. Uh, yes, I just uh, wanted to uh, mention something that uh, the, I think it was Cherera or Commissioner Masip mentioned that when the security team came, uh, at, at that point there were no results yet because there, there had been an attempt to taint the name of a very distinguished uh, professional career soldier, uh, General Francis Ogola. I think my colleague uh, Omar has 